What y'all, uh, how y'all doing today, man? Spam with them scorpions. I really went with those intro songs because I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't involved in street politics. I'm a fan. But there's something that hits a little harder when you dissing a nigga who dead. I don't know what happens, bro. Like, it, it's wrong morally. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out because it's wrong, but shit, them songs be bumping. It, like, just hits a little harder. You feel me? It's all good, man. It's all good. Anyway, anyway. Um, let me see what y'all talking about. Chief Heath intern in the chat. Who else in the chat? CLB update. Y'all want to hear about YB? Somebody say, you want me to play Soul Train? Okay. Who? Rory in the dirt. That boy been the podcast update. Okay, okay. Play Soul Train Sosa update. Hey, uh, um, I, I mean, oh, y'all are going in. Y'all want all type of shit today. Um, let me just start the stream by returning to the. The gravesite of Rory and Mealy Mall and just pissing on it again. Uh, remember them little bums was talking like their whole little shtick while they were being the Stooges on Joe's podcast. We're talking about value, value, value. Someone fooled them to think that they were invaluable because what happened is they weren't on. They went on strike like a bunch of workers and. You know, they probably thought, yo, all right, man, yo, people really going to miss us because, like, we were really talented. I'm told them bums. Y'all are non-talented. Anyway, people have moved on already. Apparently, Joe has, like, a couple new hosts. People are already fucking with them. They're like, don't bring them bum-ass niggas back, okay? Uh, again, I want to extend a, a uh, employment opportunity to Ruri. For whatever reason, my pool guy from last season not answering the phone or whatever. So I want you to come open up my pool, give it a nice cleaning, you know what I mean? Um, put some chemicals in it. I'm trying to get ready for the summer, right? But um, yeah, those two bums is the definitions of niggas who are delusional. You know what I mean? It's like imagine the niggas who played with LeBron, right? Actually getting big headed to think that they're the reason why LeBron was winning. No, nigga, he was winning in spite of y'all. Y'all niggas was trash. It might as well, it might as well be one versus five. Imagine them niggas in the off season saying, "Man, fuck LeBron, man. I'm about to go do my own thing, or I'm not about to play. I'm about to have a holdout." Nobody cares about y'all niggas. Anyway, th those two bums are learning day by day. So, you know, um, their little strike continues two weeks and going. I predicted they were going to come back. I think they're going to come back by the first because, you know, those pay like, yo, bills, 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 bills. Anyway, let's keep it going. What else did I forget to um, mention? Oh, hey, for my streams now, um, I've realized there is a big audience on YouTube that watches and they like they'll they'll watch not not live, obviously, like we're doing now, but they'll watch it tomorrow or the day after. Um, I've started uploading again on my King Academics channel. It's not me doing it. I have a, a I think it's, it used to be a pug page. Uh, Drill420, he's uploading on my page. So please, if you see my King Academics, I'll upload it up on the screen right here. Please go follow my page. He'll be uploading the stream. So like, if you miss a stream, because I know I stream late and people in the UK be like, yo, act, we miss whatever. It's youtube.com. Make sure I subscribe to this. YouTube.com slash King Academics, okay? So all my official streaming clips and highlights will be on here has 201,000 subscribers. Just hit the video tab and you will see pretty much like a bunch of clips from the last couple of streams, all right? So please check all these out if you miss the stream, but I'm going to I'm trying to like put them in one place. I know there's a bunch of other plug channel like uploading stuff, but sometimes they be wilding with the clickbait and also um not all the clips be in one place. So you guys can find them now on my channel, all right? Cool. This look like this. All right. Anyway, on to more impressing things. Uh, what should we talk about? Y'all want an A boogie update?
You want me to play Fredo Bang Click Up? Look at this nigga in a leech off on my screen. There's something a little zesty about how he dances, but I don't know. I think that's the Memphis in him. He just got a lot of energy. He got a lot of energy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Enley Chopper, man. I think Enley Chopper just got to be honest with the people. Like, yo, bro, like, it's one of those things where yo, you can't just try to be so spiritual that you're acting like you're you're sticking up your nose at what you used to be or people who still do that. Because in reality, most of y'all in, in rap aren't, I'm not saying y'all not like that, but like y'all are selling that type of content because it's what people want. So even if you're, you know what I mean, you're grown as a person, most y'all still won't be as wholesome as to sacrifice what sells just to continue your path going down whatever spiritual journey. There's few people I've ever seen do it. When Lauren Hill had her awakening, she was unwilling to keep doing some of the same bullshit despite the money that she could get. She wasn't with it. She's like, I'm good. I don't care what happens. I'm good. Now, good for her, she had a classic album, which is, you know, the only classic album, which arguably, but still, only classic album by her that will always make her a legend. And obviously, she did a whole bunch of work with the Fugees. But most of these niggas, once they get on that woke shit, like, they're not all the way with it. Like, you listen to NLE Chapo, even with his beatbox freestyle, it's everything that you don't hear him with the spiritual shit. You know what I mean? It's basically just a bunch of fuckery. So again, I'm not mad at anyone who's trying to be multifaceted, but but sometimes, like, you know, when Ellie Chopper's saying people are setting them up. Now, listen, I'm black, he black. Could the cops try to set up a black man? Yeah. But I would I would have accepted what he's saying if he stopped at that. He said the cops is trying to ruin his image. The cops don't care about no NLE Chopper, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, you're not Tupac dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not fucking changing the world. Like, you're NLE Chopper, bro. Like, you're not Tupac. Like, the cops ain't trying to come up with a conspiracy. Like, how do we stop this gardening mogul, this woke brother? Let's plant some guns and drugs and Xanax on him. No, they're not doing that. The fuck? Let's fuck up his image. If we fuck up his image, no hope will exist. Huh? The nigga's name is Ellie Chopper. I I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I and I love Ellie. Okay? It's just that. I'm not buying that. You could own up to your mistakes. You feel me? Say I told y'all I stopped drinking. And then one night y'all see a video of me blacked out drunk. Nigga, I'm not going to say people drugged me. Just admit it. Yo, I fucked up that one night. You know what I mean? I went back on every... I was growing. I was trying to be better. I fucked up that one night. I drank, blah, blah, blacked out. Mm, whatever. Cool. We're humans, man. Ellie Chopper started with this show, they're planting stuff. Nigga, you ain't Malcolm X. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like, y'all gotta relax. Yo, they set me up, they planted stuff on me. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay? Now, you might really think you're innocent, but no one's thinking about your image trying to ruin it. Just saying, okay? Uh, what else? What else? 